terrified. I'm like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I'm telling my friends I don't want to do this. I can't pay attention to the instructions. I don't want to do this. Then we get in the plane and we start climbing up. So we get up the plane. We get about 13,000 feet and it goes. My friends are sitting across from me on this little seat and like a little bench. And we go. And then it goes like this. And one of my friends, one of my best friends from high school, he starts sliding down the bench towards the door. Just another one of my friends screaming at the door. I'm like, just watching your friends fall to their death. And I start panicking. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, he's got this, you got this. And like, hey, hey, look, I've been in personal development for a long term. I know what to do. We go, he goes, it's our turn next. I'm like, okay. So we go like this. And we start sliding down the bench. I've been in personal development. I know what to do. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. We get down to the door. He goes, one. And I look out the door. I'm like, oh. He goes, one. I go, no. He goes, two. I go, no. He goes, three. I go, no. And he throws me out of this thing. <laughs> and then you are falling 200 miles an hour. You are falling, but you're not even really unaware of how fast you're falling because you're screaming. Ah! I remember I just had the wind. And I'm like screaming, ah! and I'm like Gumby in the air, and I'm screaming out my lungs. And then I'm falling, and something goes wrong. The goggles snap. The rim of the goggles went. Not a big deal unless you're falling 200 miles an hour and there's wind because I'm falling. Ah! Ow! Ah! Ow! And then the thing catches wind. Ow! 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 And I forget what I'm supposed to do. So my coach, she points down to the ground. He goes, hey. But I'm screaming. And all of a sudden, he goes to short to me. My hand catches wind. I pull, pull, I'm like, ah, what is it? Shows me again. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, what did you do? I reach back, I grab the thing, I grab it like this, I grab it, I deploy it, I go, wham! And then we're going down, and he goes, Brendan, lift your legs. I go, why? He goes, so you don't break them. Ooh. Good trip, a good tip. We land, and we go over to the little thing where we get my picture my friends call the hero shot. And why do I tell you this story? Because you know what? Everyone wants to talk about courage and they never tell you how hard it's going to be. Demonstrating courage isn't always what you think it looks like. I'm not brave for jumping out. I'm not courageous for jumping out. Because here's what I'm The guy runs up to me afterwards. He pulls me away from my friends and he says, listen, can I talk to you? I said, sure. He says, um, uh, that was a pretty rough journey for you. <laughs> Thanks, man. It was. So he says, can I tell you something? I said, yeah. He goes, hey, Brennan. You see that plane over there? I go, yeah. He goes, I've jumped out of that 1,142 times. I go, what? He goes, 1,142 times. I go, really? He goes, yeah. He says, but can I tell you something? I said, sure. He said, can I give you some advice? I said, sure. I love advice, man. I live in that world. He goes, okay, well, let me give you some advice. You're one of those guys. I said, well, what do you mean? He goes, well, you're, you're one of those guys. I said, I'm sorry. I don't know what you mean. He goes, you're one of those guys who is yet to learn to listen through the fear. I said, well, what do you mean? He says, well, when we were in the barn giving all the instructions, you were so scared about what was coming up and complaining about it and, and, and being fearful of it that you weren't listening to the very instructions we were giving to save your life. You were so trapped in your internal world, you weren't learning from the external world, and so your journey was so hard. There we were, the mentors, right there for you but you didn't implement what we told you. We were there giving you everything to think about, every tool, every possible thing, but you didn't implement it. So you had to scream like a baby the whole way down. He said, you gotta learn to listen through the fear. The fear is not gonna go away. The anxiety, the concern, is, you're not gonna show up on some perfect day where you're fully great and you don't have concerns anymore. You're gonna show up and the fear is gonna be there and you're just gonna listen through it. You can't just intend your way to greatness. You need to implement 
Somebody taught you something, who ran those thousand miles, who jumped out of that plane a thousand times, who gave you the science, who gave you the habits. Work what you learn and go out there. Greatness is yours, but you gotta go.